Okay, welcome to the channel for a rare Sunday night upload and an upload with a difference and uh, I've got a feeling that a lot of you won't like tonight's video but I'm hoping that some of you will. Over the past 15 weeks I've been creating new content on a new channel with my daughter and uh, I'll tell you now it's non-golf content. Some of you already have switched over and had a look at it and are gladly you're supporting this channel and I appreciate it. But I really want to put another video out there that lets others know that perhaps missed first time round 15 weeks ago right now what it is exactly we are doing. So what you're going to see very shortly is tonight's episode which is posted on the new channel as well and I'm asking you to kind of like uh, give it a go, take a look at it, sit through it. It's a 20 minute long video and I want you to let me know in the comment section below what you think and most of all I'm looking for your support. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hop on over to that other channel the link will be in the description below and subscribe to that channel stick around watch it watch how the channel grows it's certainly developed from episode 1 to episode 15 which you're about to see this evening and uh, I'm hoping we can grow that a lot lot further with your support so as ever I appreciate every video that you watch on this channel this one means a lot to me so stick around hope you enjoyed tonight's video and uh, I hope that means it leads to you subscribing and watching more videos on the new channel. Right, I'll see you all soon. I just want it going on record that I am absolutely dreading this job and not looking forward to it one bit. This is seriously it's a job from hell. I hate it. Right I hate now, it. Though. Like I said, I don't like it. No. Bit. I'm dreading it. It's also absolutely freezing today. I think it's going to be raining pretty much all day. So, we don't really want to be out here doing this. My body language is negative. See you in a bit. Right, it is uh, Thursday morning. It's time to go and meet Hannah. Don't you just hate that? So this week's episode starts with a bit of work. We've got to crack on with the van, and that means the uh, the visit to obviously B and Q is a horrible day. Every time we decide to do some work on the van, it seems to be pretty miserable. And here's Hannah. Good time. You have to lean in there and say hello. Hi. I just want to go on record that uh, I am absolutely dreading this week's job and I'm not looking forward to it one bit. So the job we're tackling today is this. We're going to put a shelf in here. Yep. We're going to tidy up the sides, just make it look nicer than it does now. I think we've even had one person comment saying tidy it up because it's Have we? a mess. Cheeky <laughs> yeah. buggers. So we are finally doing it. We haven't got a clue. I'm dreading it. Doing. Let's just put it that way. It's not good. We, we did the back end, which was, I didn't like the idea of that, which was easier than this. Everything's on a wonk. Yeah. My body language is negative. See you in a bit. What are you doing? Well, even the width of the shelf at this end, yeah. behind my head, is, what did I just say? 56 and 3 quarter? Yeah. Well, it then narrows in. Oh, no. To 56. That's before we start to cut around here. Because yeah. the shelf is going to sit on these um, yeah. the already parcel shelves that sit above the drivers and passenger side. It's going to take a bit of the weight. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to create um, a, uh, a support right the way across, which it'll then sit on. We've then got to cut all around this sort of um, headliner. So that's the bit I'm dreading. That's the first job. I found me sunglasses anyway. Okay. Another job we've been putting off for a while is finishing our roof because at the minute I think it's about three different shades of white and we finally decided on which colour to go for. Um, so I'm just going to go over that and hopefully make that look a lot better than it does now. for about five minutes and already my arm is killing me. Me and Penn are very lucky 
to be sat nice and warm in the van while unfortunately my dad has the job of cutting the wood outside and honestly it is really horrible weather today so I'm feeling a bit guilty. How are you getting on? Well we're done. Oh we'll, god. We'll do the kind of, it'll definitely be a uh, cut about, 10 million well times. measure one's cut about three times. Yeah. So like that's the first shape. Yeah. It's got to fit in all around the kind of uh, whatever awesome. What are them things called? I don't even know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see in a minute. God, fingers crossed. So we're just going to try it in now. It's obviously not going to fit straight away, but just to get an idea. It won't fit because off the back end, in, in behind these yeah. things here. Ah, but it's not going anywhere Yep. So we've had a few goes, thinking that this might be. We have had a few goes. Nearly there. The camera, this is the first. <laughs> it's not the first attempt. It is the first. It's attempt. not. Gotta keep it real. Oh! Oh! oh. Fits like a glove. First cut. You know what they say? Measure once. Cut. Cut once. Mm. Definitely not once. That's really good though. <laughs> it's actually, yeah. yeah. Even that shocked me. So awkward though. Such a funny shape, isn't it? Yeah, but that's good. Yeah. Success. This is seriously it's a job from hell. I hate it. I don't even know why I'm laughing because I just can't wait to do it. So. It's not really funny. So give an update. Yeah. So you've seen the wood went in. And then and this is... the wood. So we've managed to fit that bit. Even though, let's be quite blunt, it's wrong. Yeah. I've got to redo it. So yeah. that's now got to be uh, re -bought. It's only because, because it's short at the far end to fit into the gap that we've got, which meant we lost a couple of inches off the front end, yeah. which basically means it's too short this side. Anyway, that's going to need to be recut, but at least you've got a template no, that we know that doing. works. Yeah. Then this bar goes in across here, which is our main support bar, and there's a little lip that you can't see on the other side of this, which is where the wood then sits into. But we've now got to find a way of literally holding this piece up. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little bit of an upright there, an upright in there, which you can see completely at a wonk in terms of the angle of the van coming in. And then these are going to sit in here. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to, let me just uh, stand that still for a minute. No, I won't stand that still. And then we're going to tongue and groove these columns yeah. in the same green as we've got the side. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. But like yeah. I said, nothing fits. I'm even having to bend these. I'm going to want these L brackets. To secure this, yeah. but I'm going to have to bend these so they're at an angle, so that the instead of fitting like that, they fit and wrap around yeah. that piece of wood. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes sense. Might I hate it. Though. Like I said, I don't like it. No. One bit. Oh, look at that! Right. It's a thing of beauty. Perfect. So a couple of hours later, and we've now got a few pieces that we're happy enough to drill into the van. So we're going to start. <laughs> So after a quick dinner break, it's back out. Our kind of uh, four pieces and uh, one cross support are all tied together now. They're not overly strong, but sort of strong enough. And then when everything ties each other together, it should work out and support well. I'm now going to cover these uh, these bits rather with uh, the tongue and groove, which should neaten everything off. Because right now it looks it's an okay job, but it's not uh, the neatest. But you're not going to see any of that. So when the uh, when the tongue and groove goes over, gets painted, we should all get a neat finish. And I think it's going to start to come together now. That's what I hope anyway. 
Happy now? <sighs> no. Pen, are you happy? Had a quick breakfast and we are actually in Betsy Coed this morning as we've seen the weather forecast was nice for today so we thought take a little trip out. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. Penny is. is Penny is basking in the sun looking out the back of the van. First time we've been able to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, we finished up yesterday which um, I'm really I'm chuffed with that Looks and we've so got nice. all the gear on the shelf already and that was the bit that used to literally clutter up this place so all our yeah. sort of coats and bags and stuff like that. So already put it to use. It's not quite finished, obviously, but uh, we're getting there. But I think we're going to have it was quick brekkie. Yeah. And uh, wander around. Wander around Betsy Coed. Show you this place. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially on a day like today. Yeah. And then maybe stop for something to eat a bit later on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Pen. We going? Let's go. She's down here, by the way. So this is so nice to be out in. Uh, well, you've seen the weather yesterday. It was a real change, and uh, well, the sun has just gone in as I've walked out. But to have the van doors open, literally, like I said, for the first time this year. In the back end, all the doors open. You can see my uh, my job's unfinished there. I should have shown that bit. You ready, Pen? Yeah. You liking it? Yeah. How nice is it when the sun shines? So nice. Penny is itching to get out, aren't you, Pen? <laughs> You're trying to escape. You ready yeah. to go? You can't get up there, can you? Oh, are we going? Come yeah. on. Let's go. You'll be happy to know that this week we are paying and displaying. <laughs> we remembered. walk along the shops by the train station and even though we've just air we've just found somewhere else that we want to eat. Oh it looks it's called hanging pizza. Yeah the menu looks delicious so I think before we leave we're gonna have to stop and get it's one time, aren't we? Definitely. Yeah. waterfall and my dad's off with the dog in his hands walking down the rocks taking pictures Pen looks like she's <laughs> frightened to death I'm, I'm frightened to death I'm scared they're gonna fall in then what do I do I can't drive home
like about Betsy Coward is that everything is kind of nearby. You don't have to do a great deal of uh, hiking around to get some into some really nice uh, specs. And this is like literally just from that kind of waterfall bit we've shown you earlier. This is a walk that yeah, a walk that leads straight on for that, and you can sort of go as uh, as short or as far as you wish. Penny is absolutely loving it. On your pen. Racing ahead. Racing ahead. Nice though, isn't it, Han? Yeah, so nice. It's a gorgeous place. Love it here, yeah. It's again, it's a bit of a trip down memory lane because this is a place we come to uh, quite a lot and I've done for blinking it. Yeah. I've been coming here for like, I don't know, like a lot of time. in the channel with the comment section so let us know what you think of Betsy Coed and all the other places we visit but in a few weeks time we're going arrange to go to Stratford upon Avon yeah which again really nice place have you been before? I've been before oh have I, you? I don't think so all right okay I, think been, no. I think you have been okay right okay. but I don't know the area that well obviously no. the Cotswolds is nearby uh, we've got Warwick nearby but if you can help us out and let us know kind of guide us as to where it might be worth visiting yeah then that would be a great Sites. help yeah. and food oh yeah not forgetting food as well I've always that got that one on the list but yeah it'd be ma it'd be a massive help to us because uh, rather than us doing lots of planning and looking around and trying to find places yeah. obviously if you've been there then uh, please let us know and Penny is coming along for the ride then as well aren't you Penny? Yes. So we just got back to the van, picked up our pizzas, they look ridiculous. You went for... So it was goat's cheese, caramelised onion, mm -hmm. garlic butter, um, yeah. and pizza base. And mine is tomato base, mozzarella, mm -hmm. mushrooms, prosciutto. Yeah. We've just had a bit of that one, dive straight in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do think it's delicious. I think It's really the, nice. The red onion, but like you say, it needs a bit more of a base on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Can I go for this Yeah, then? go on. I'm absolutely starving by the way. The um, pancake breakfast just wasn't sufficient. No. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Mm. You should have stuck to um, that was your choice. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I prefer that. Yeah. So that's us done for the week, on our way back home now, Penn's asleep, <laughs> I'm nearly asleep, probably won't last much longer, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode, uh, exciting stuff again for next week, so hopefully see you next Sunday. See you next Sunday, bye. You getting comfy Penn? Getting comfy yet? Yeah. Get this out here a bit. You're gonna fall off, aren't you? It's not very cosy for you, is it? Look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. <laughs>